In this lesson, we will find coordinates of the point P, which divides the join of given points A and B in given ratio K1 ratio K2. Let's assume that here is a point A in XY plane and the coordinates of the point are x1, y1 and there is another point B which has coordinates x2, y2. The position vector for B is B and the position vector for A is given that this is A Let's draw this position vector and the join of AB is this line and on this line there is another point P with coordinates x, y which divides the join of AB in ratio K1, K2 means K1 units are on this side and K2 units are on the other side which means AP AP ratio PB PB is same as K1 ratio K2 ratio is always scalar doesn't matter if it's the ratio between vectors or it, it's the ratio between numbers ratio is always a scalar number without any unit therefore now if we want to write AP as portion of AB AP could be written as AP is equal to K1 over K1 plus K2 of AB. Just as if you take an example of midpoint, if this has a line AB and this is a midpoint P, midpoint mean that one on this side, one on this side. AP can be written equal to one half of AB. Just the same way we can write AP is equal to K1 over K1 plus K2 of AB. And now we are going to find out what the values of AP and AB are and we will substitute those values in equation 1. As AP is a vector and we can write it as AO plus OP. Therefore, this would be minus A plus C. This is value of AP. And let's call it number 2. And now find value for AB. Similarly, similarly AB is equal to AO plus OB and this is equal to minus A plus B and we will substitute these values of AP and AB from equation 2 and 3 and we will substitute in equation 1. Substituting substituting values of A, P and A, B in equation 1. In equation 1, what we get is A, P will be equal to minus A plus C 
is equal to k1 over k1 plus k2 of b minus a and now we will find the value for c this should give us c equal to a plus k1 over k1 plus k2 of b minus a and if we take a common this should be c equal to a from the first and the third term if we take a common this will be let's do it in detail k1 over k1 plus k2 time b minus k1 over k1 plus k2 time a and now we can take common from the first and third term on right hand side this should give us c equal to a common and inside we will have 1 minus k1 over k1 plus k2 plus k1 over k1 plus k2 b and here if we take LCM for this this will become equal to k1 plus k2 minus k1 by taking LCM over k1 plus k2 time a plus k1 over k1 plus k2 of b this is nothing here and then if we move on to the next line this k1 and k1 will get cancelled and this will be that the vector c is equal to k2 over k1 plus k2 a plus k1 over k1 plus k2 b this means if we equate the first component of each vector this would give us x y equal to k2 over k1 plus k2 x1 y1 plus k1 over k1 plus k2 of x2 y2 we can easily figure out that x is equal to k2 over k1 plus k2 x1 plus k1 x2 over k1 plus k2 and y is similarly equal to k2 y1 over k1 plus k2 plus k1 y2 over k1 plus k2 this means if we take common LCM this will give us 
x is equal to k2 x1 plus k1 x2 over k1 plus k2 k2 and y will be equal to k2 y1 plus k1 y2 over k1 plus k2 which was required and this is under the assumption that p lies between a and b here assumption is assumption is that p lies between a and b and this is called this is called internal internal division for an external division if p lies beyond b or a so if P lies beyond A or B, which is case of this kind of that A is here, B is here, and P is beyond B. If P lies beyond A or B, then P is said to be internally dividing, is said to divide externally, externally and in that case, in that case, k1 ratio k2 is taken as negative ratio k1 ratio k2 and the points of division will be accordingly adjusted.